Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Indian School of Physics. Guys, this is Nitin here and uh, as I promised, I have come with a very amazing problem of optics. It is cylindrical lens and it is extreme optics challenge. It was quite tough problem. And guys, uh, thanks for all the likes you are uh, giving and uh, with this uh, problem also because it was a special one, you can unlock one more cylindrical lens problem with the 700 likes. and. Uh, that problem will be exclusively designed for JE Advanced 2021. And guys, thanks again. Uh, liking, sharing, subscribing is love. So keep sharing, keep liking uh, the way you are already doing. So guys, this video is brought to you by Indian School of Physics and Unacademy together. And uh, guys, my current courses on uh, Unacademy are course of Ayn Pichu Foundation and for JE Advanced 2023 and uh, Emerge for JE 2023 in both these batches uh, work power energy and circular motion and uh, in Emerge kinematics will be starting uh, this week and uh, there is uh, advanced problem solving for JE Advanced 2021 uh, two phases we have covered with some of the finest problems of uh, JE Advanced and uh, guys i think it's part uh, three as i said earlier uh, may not come because uh, j means dates have been released so i think <coughs> we will not be having enough time for uh, going for phase three of it and advanced course for j 2022 in hindi is going on we will be very soon starting magnetism and uh, uh, current electricity currently is going on in this batch and uh, another course advanced course of uh, rotational mechanics is already going on Guys, you can access my theory courses uh, which are of uh, advanced plus plus levels for boosting your J preparation. And you can unlock these courses on uh, Unacademy using my code Nathan sir. And uh, for more information, you can uh, visit www.unacademy.com. And guys, trust me, physics will never be the same again. So here is the problem statement. A long annular cylinder with inner radius R1 and outer radius R2 and length L is having refractive index of mu. Uh, an observer O is standing far away from the cylinder. Assume that it is given that the observer apparently finds the inner hollow cylinder in the form of a cylinder with elliptical cross section. <clears throat> what will be the volume of such cylinder as seen by the observer approximately? So R1, R2, length L and mu is given. So while solving, I realize guys the, that uh, the calculations are terrible in this problem. So you can use R1 equal to R, R2 equal to 2R and mu equal to 3 by 2. And by that we get a very nice answer. Uh, so here, by the way, this is original problem. So concept wise, uh, uh, you must remember this apparent depth formula. And uh, you know, uh, <clears throat> and this this is for near normal cases so one object uh, is there and one observer is there so its uh, distance its image will appear to the observer at a distance of z from the interface in which observer is present from this interface this uh, z is measured so it is like medium in which observer is placed and then l1 by mu1 l2 by mu2 l3 by mu2 keep doing it you will be getting apparent uh, depth so you can use this formula so here the idea for this problem was uh, that suppose if we take these four uh, points and i'm taking observer far away so that uh, this small object uh, everywhere we can take a similar type of approach that's the purpose of giving uh, observer at uh, large distance so here for uh, four points i'm taking a b c d so c and d are into the plane and out of the plane and uh, Point A is the nearest point to the observer and point B is the far away point uh, from the observer. So we can see here <coughs> uh, in this case for point A and point B because th these are flat surfaces normals will be like this uh, here. Uh, so light rays are uh, almost along the normal. So in that situation we can say for point A and B this cylindrical uh, lens will behave like a glass slab with thickness of R2 minus R1 here you can say so it's a uh, let's say distance of A from uh, this uh, medium interface where observer is placed is Z1 so you can see here uh, this Z1 value I can uh, simply write it as a T by mu which is the R2 minus R1 by mu Similarly for B, this medium is air and this is mu. So from here, this image of B will be at a distance of, uh, you can say here, uh, this R, uh, 2 R1 by 1. And uh, here it will come 
r2 minus r1 by mu so this is z1 and z2 location of images of a and b is known to us as seen by this observer and this ellipse from top view this is the top view here <coughs> sorry uh, so image of a and image of b the distance between them uh, can be approximated as uh, 2b length so from here 2b length is uh, known to us and if you see this z2 minus z1 which will uh, come out as a 2r1 so approximately uh, sorry here uh, b will be r1 this b is r1 all right so this b value minor axis of uh, this ellipse here b is r1 i hope you are able to follow this uh, what exactly i am doing here whereas point c its image is c dash and its image is d dash they will not be forming at uh, this uh, the the cavity from the top will look like this so image of c will be slightly away and image of d also will be slightly away that's how this uh, image will appear like an uh, ellipse uh, cross section all right so let's find out major axis of ellipse now we have to go for uh, the geometry part here so if you see if i take uh, uh, one object here this is the normal i'm drawing so for image of c i'm taking two light rays which are uh, starting from uh, this purposely i'm taking one light ray in uh, horizontal direction the reason being because this radius is r1 and this radius is r2 so i know this angle or uh, uh, this will become sine theta will become r1 by r2 and this will be almost horizontal here so it will give me some uh, relaxation in uh, geometry so after refraction this light ray is going like this similarly one more light ray which will be somewhere here it will be going in this direction so if we extend these two we will get image location slightly close to this so we'll be using approximation here also and if this angle is theta 1 and this is theta 2 i can apply snell's law mu sin theta 1 is equal to 1 is sin theta 2 and uh, that value if i substitute sin theta 1 which is r1 by r2 here so sin theta 2 is known to me all right sin theta 2 is known to me and semi major axis of uh, this ellipse will be this length because for d also image will be slightly here so i hope you are able to follow this uh, something like this this image uh, will come so this c e dash location we have to figure out and uh, once we know this we can uh, find out overall uh, volume also so this uh, major axis length here i can say it is r1 plus c c dash r1 plus c c dash and after this this remaining angle is theta 2 minus theta 1 so if i use tan logic here in this triangle because this angle is 90 degree and uh, this is approximation guys so here i can see tan theta 2 minus theta 1 is cc prime divided by pc pc is this distance and uh, this one is uh, cc prime so uh, pc distance is known to us root of r1 square minus r2 square guys here uh, i'll show you that i have solved it for general cases also but i will not recommend you to solve for these uh, general cases however i'll suggest you to substitute value of r1 r2 and mu mu is 3 by 2 r1 is r and this is 2r so you can say sin theta comes as sin theta 2 comes as 3 by 4 so tan theta 2 is known to us and we will be opening this uh, relation here so you can see if i solve by general values uh, a very lengthy answer was coming so i won't recommend you to go like this what i'll suggest is directly you can uh, use this uh, logic r1 and r r2 is 2r and mu is 3 by 2 so sin theta 2 is known to us so tan theta 2 directly i can write 3 by root 7 similarly sin theta 1 was r1 by r2 which is 1 by 2 so 30 degree so tan theta 1 is 1 by root 3 so once i substitute these values in this equation you can see on simplification i get a major axis length of major axis uh, semi major axis that comes as 4 root 3 by root 7 plus root 3 times r so now i can substitute uh, this volume as pi ab is the cross section area into the length l so this will come as uh, pi 4 root 3 by root 7 plus root 3 divided by 
uh, uh, times r square l this is going to be the final answer for this problem i hope guys you have uh, enjoyed this problem it was quite challenging problem and uh, very difficult so far i did not receive any correct answer as per uh, my calculations so if that is the case please leave a like share this problem with others and if you haven't subscribed my channel please subscribe it and let's complete the goal of this uh, video also so that i can bring you another uh, amazing problem as early as possible thank you thanks for watching it